Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jennifer's Lair. My name's Jennifer, if you haven't been here before. Welcome everyone. I love Halloween, I love spooky things, I love supernatural, and I love cats. So if you like any of those things and want to be a part of our spooky channel, go ahead and click the that button, that subscribe button. And also click the bell so that you can get notifications on my newest videos. Now tonight... There is a thunderstorm, so I thought it would be perfect to share some of my hauls. I'm going to be doing like three videos tonight, guys. So um, if I do look a little tired, I fell asleep and I just woke up from a nap. So <laughs> there's that. Um, so I woke up to the thunderstorm. They were planning on having the thunderstorm roll in about 8 o'clock, but... I didn't hear anything and then all of a sudden I woke up and I'm like, oh, there's the thunderstorm. I'm like, I got to do videos. So I laid down a little bit and so that I could be fresh and everything for you guys. So I wouldn't be so tired. Hopefully I won't yawn. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today we're going to do a Michael's Halloween haul. So um, it's just a small one and then I'm going to do two more hauls tonight and then maybe another another video or so possibly we'll see how much i have in me to do all the videos tonight but i thought today tonight would be a beautiful night to have to do these videos because of the thunderstorm so you may hear some thunder you may see some lightning so but anyways here we go let's let's start with this michael's hall it's a mini michael's hall so we went to Mankato again, which is good because we're down to one vehicle. And so when we went, I decided I wanted to go to Michael's and we stopped at a couple other places. So um, here's the haul for that day that I that we did. So first and foremost, I got this cabinet. It is so cool, guys. This little cabinet thing. And... Uh, there's like a little jar in there. There's a bird skull and half of a something. I kind of think it's a rat. And that kind of looks like a cat head. I'm not real sure. Um, but I just thought this was a really cool little cabinet thing. And I thought it would look good on by my witch's area. I have a witch's area where the, I have a witch, like a animatronic witch I actually have two of them and uh well anyways I've got this area set aside for her and I decorate it and it stays up year round and so I will I'm hoping to do maybe a living room tour uh we'll see how it goes I have a few things I've got to straighten up beforehand and uh it's not really done in there now because we did some rearranging of the furniture so I may do that. And if you see some movement on the corner of the screen, it is Charm. She's laying down. She's cleaning herself. And then we have uh, uh, Punky's in here. And I think Mooney's in here somewhere. <laughs> but uh, this was $59.99 for the shelf. And we got everything. I think we got a 20% off everything. So... Um, and for those of you who really think I like real bones, I don't really like real bones. They creep me out. So I always like to get like fake bones like these because they look real, but they're not. And that's what makes them like the best, you know, because they're not real. And I do like ta taxidermy things, but I like them um, like they have to be the animal has had to die by natural um by na natural sources you know it, it can't just die like of by the hand of someone i would rather have them die just all natural instead you know like old age or something like that because i don't really like bones i don't really like uh taxidermy when it gets to be the point where someone's killing an animal just to taxidermy it so I'm not into that. <laughs> so I do have some taxidermy, but I made sure that the source I got them from was all, they died of natural causes. It wasn't like they, they went out and killed them or anything. So, um, 
there's that. And yeah, I'm really kind of weirded out by specimens too. I don't know why, but I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I would, you know, I don't like it when animals die and stuff like that. And I think that it's cool that they preserve them forever, but I don't know if I would, I mean, I'm not sure. I just have a mixed feelings about all that. So, I mean, and if you have this stuff, that's awesome. Like, if that's what you like, that's what you like. But for me, I just, I don't know. <laughs> you like what I, what you like, I like what I like. How about that? <laughs> Anyways, here is a planchette, and I do have one on my wall right now, but it is different, and I really like this one a lot, but it does have gold on it, and you you guys know I'm not a fan of gold. I like silver and stuff, but this one was so pretty, it's like, and there's only a few little spots where there's gold, and it's like, it's almost like it's glitter, so I don't know if you guys can see the glitter or not, but... I just thought this one was so pretty, and so I got it. It's kind of like last year's a little bit, kind of, but, I mean, last year's was a little different. So, um, there's that planchette. I love planchettes, by the way, and Ouija boards. They're my thing. <laughs> and then... Oh, yeah, and the planchette. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you the price of the planchette. The planchette was $14.99. So you can see how hollow it is inside or whatever, and it's it was $14.99. And then you've got this. And then I love, I'm obsessed this year with these things i'm just so obsessed with them and i cannot help myself but i love cauldrons this year this year's like that's like my thing cauldrons and the phases of the moon and crescent moons are my thing this year and i just love this little cauldron that i got from michael's it's so cute and it's ceramic so it's really breakable and it's got the lid on it so the lid opens and closes then there's a little spot where you can see inside. It's got a little handle on it, which I don't, I think my handle's like stuck in where it's not supposed to be or something like that. So I can't really push it up right now until I can figure out what is going on with it, but I'm not going to spend time doing that on the video here. Um, trying to see what how much this was um it is 14 14.99 so this little cauldron was 14.99 and it's highly breakable guys it's ceramic so be careful if you get one of these they're very beautiful though and then i'm gonna put this away quick so it doesn't break while we're doing the rest of this video I also have three more videos to do, so I'm going to need a quick switch over. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up because I'm not putting it away anytime soon for now. And I don't want it broken. That is just not a good situation here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the sign. This was one of my signs this year that I really, really wanted. And as you see my last video from, because I did do another Michaels haul, that my friend brought stuff. And she asked if I wanted the sign. And I was like, I was like, oh, I really want that sign. But then I was like, ah, because my pocketbook was already screaming at me saying, you need to stop. You need to stop. You can't spend anymore. So I couldn't get the sign. So then when we went back and I saw the sign and I saw the cabinet and stuff like that, I knew I was going to pick this up too. This is so cool, guys. And this was $17.99. 
six uh 39.99 so 39.99 was for this for the sign it does have like a little thing in between to um hang it up on and stuff like that so you can hang it fairly easily it's a very heavy sign it's very very nice i like i love their their stuff like i love their stuff this year the only bad thing is is like they do red and gold and black and i would have loved to have red silver and black so hopefully like maybe next year or some other time they'll do some black and you know black and red or you know black and silver and red because i do need some more things i want to hang some more things in my living room but um these things they may not go in the living room i'm thinking i'm not sure where i'm gonna hang the one side i just showed you but It'll be somewhere awesome, I'm sure. And whoops, I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera again. Here is the other thing that I got. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Now, I've wanted this sign for quite a few years. I know that they had it last year and the year before that. And I just love this sign. And I think it'll go well in our kitchen. I'm not sure wear in the kitchen yet but i'm thinking this will go really well in the kitchen i like black and orange and white uh that's kind of our kitchen colors right now and i also when i do the living room sometimes i do black orange white and silver so um so there's that as well i just really love michael's stuff this year they have like a lot like you can t you can see that I have the witchy picture behind me. My friend actually gave me hers because I was looking for it online and they weren't updating any of their stuff. They weren't getting anything in. So I was like really, you know, that was my unicorn this year. So I got my unicorn, which is perfect. And I've had like a couple different unicorns this year, but that was the one that, I, that I've wanted the, the worst in the worst way. Like I wanted that one. I was willing to have people uh, pay people to go out and find it. And, um, you know, I was willing to pay a little bit extra for their troubles. So I am so happy that my friend was able to, um, she just gave me hers. And then she was like, well, since you don't have a way to get there, it just makes sense. I got a Michaels in town. I can just go and get it, you know. But then I heard that they were they were out there, so I think she ordered one online. I hope she did anyways. But she sold me hers, and I told her I'd give her extra for it because of her troubles and everything. So I I ended up giving her extra. So I, I sure appreciated Heidi so much for that. And if you've seen the other haul, the other Michaels haul this year that I've done for 2022, you'll see... Um, you'll see some of the stuff, but, um, they, I mean, they do have, um, excuse me, they do have quite a bit of selection when it comes to, like, their floral stuff. I do like their tech, their test tubes, but I'm scared that if I get one and it gets shipped to me, it'll get broken and it'll just get stuck with the base because, I mean, no offense, Michaels or whatever, but you guys don't, you guys do not, um, whoever ships the stuff out never, like, packs it good enough. Now, you guys usually end up giving, like, you know, some free, you know, replacements for free, but then after a while, you do a half off, and then that's it, like, but if the person really collects this stuff and really wants it in one piece... Um, I wish that you would, you guys would, uh, take a little bit better care of like, you know, the packaging because you guys could save yourself some money and also save, you know, postage and all that other stuff just by making sure that the packages are, you know, packed well. That's just, you know, that's something over the years because I can't always get to a Michaels. I don't have a Michaels. So I end up having to order a lot of this breakable stuff online and I've actually had to fix a lot of it. So, um, and it hasn't been fun, but I've learned how to fix things. And sometimes you can't even tell because it's broken in just the right area. But then there's some, some that you cannot fix. Like they're just, it's just shattered and there's nothing you can do about it. So they send you another one and then that one comes broken. 
then they send you another one and then that one comes broken and then they do like a half off or whatever it is so um it, just be aware of that when you're ordering from michael's because um sometimes you know I don't know what happens, but they don't package very well. This, even if it's breakable, they just don't package it like they should. So, um, you know, keep that in mind when ordering from their website. I enjoy it. I enjoy their their stuff. I really do. So, I'm waiting for some more thunder, guys, but I'm not hearing any. It's crazy, but I love the rain sound. I can hear rain, but you guys on the camera probably won't be able to hear that, even if I was quiet. You could, you might be able to pick up on Charmy's uh, purring. <laughs> She's over here purring. She's the sweetest cat. All my cats are such sweethearts. I love them all. But sometimes I have to yell at them when they want to eat wires. Because the last couple of videos I've had, um, they've tried to eat wires. Not a fun, a very fun thing. <laughs> and so, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. When it's time to uh, order from Michael's, just make sure that, you know, if it's something breakable, maybe put in, like, the instructions. Make sure you pack really well because a lot of times things have just come broken to me. So, um, yeah. And also I want to share, if you, if you know, you know, <laughs> Bob Blast, the, the drink of us Halloween people <laughs> and Jade the Libra. And, uh, I just want to thank Jade so much for, uh, for doing the Halloween forever page again. I know I think her in the one of the other videos that I've done well maybe several videos but I appreciate you so much Jade and I really appreciate all your videos and you letting me share my videos on the Halloween Forever page I really do appreciate that and uh and it's awesome because like I love to share my you know passion for Halloween as everyone does and I just really greatly appreciate you letting me do that. I know that you're another YouTuber or whatever, but I'm just a small fish in that big pond. And I really want more subscribers too, because I just want to share with everyone. Like, I just like, uh, I just love just having that, you know, that, you know, Halloween spirit and you're getting in the spirit of things and you're just trying to share with people and, you just want to want to share with them like everything and you're getting so excited and <laughs> and everything and I just really appreciate uh you know people like you cuz it's it's nice to have like know that we're not I'm not the only one that loves Halloween there's so many others out there and I want to give a shout out to what you know who's who actually you know inspires me to do the videos so Jade you inspire me. There's other people that inspire me. Leah Mouse, she inspires me. Uh, Black, It's Black Friday. If you haven't seen her, she's awesome. And she inspires me to do videos. And uh, Halloween Happy, she inspires me to do videos. Uh, Toxic Tears, she inspires me to do these types of videos. There are so many more people that I really enjoy watching. And um, they inspire me to do um, Surround Sound Freak 13. He inspires me to do videos because he's really awesome too. He loves Halloween. Check him out. He loves movies and Halloween. And um, just, you know, he shows his pumpkin patch and other things. And he was actually awesome enough to show some of my photos of some of my old stuff that I had. Like this was a couple years ago. I sent him uh, photos and he put my name on them, and that was like my first taste of YouTube, really. So, thank you so much for that. Uh, Sound Sound Freak 13, you're awesome. There is so many others that I cannot like. I know I'm forgetting a lot of people because there is so many of you out there that I really enjoy watching. There is just, I mean, you guys are awesome. It's nice to know that we're not alone. That there's other Halloween people like us that are like crazy Halloween fanatics. 
which makes me so, I mean, I just get so excited around this time of year. There's so many good things. And I just want to share with you guys some of those good finds so that you know where to get them. If you want them, they're out there, you know, go get them. You know, it's, it's so much fun to share with people. And actually, you know, um, I'm hoping, like I said, I want to do a room tour at some point. I don't know. And I keep telling everyone I don't know because financially all my money's going to Halloween and I need to do a coffee nook and I am waiting till after Halloween to do this. So it's probably going to be sometime after Halloween, after everything dies down when I will do the room tour, which, which will be good because then you guys can, you know, you guys will be focusing on other things then and stuff. And, um, yeah, you can see some sneak peeks in the back of me, but that's not like what's on the sides of me and the front of me and everything. So I would like to do a video, uh, for you guys of my room and I will get to that. I apologize. It's taking so much longer than what I anticipated. So, um, and I keep going, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, I need, um, excuse me. I need lampshades for my room and I need to get my coffee nook ready. So those are the things that I'm kind of waiting for. And I wanted to show the room when it's, you know, basically all done, like not, you know, half, half acid in a way, because, you know, but I mean, it's never really going to be done technically, is it? Because I'm going to be switching pillows in and out probably, and I'm going to be doing some other things. But these are my favorite pillows so that I have up here. And I have another pile <laughs> in the corner, of course, because you know what? Who, who doesn't need a million <laughs> throw pillows? <laughs> And soon, maybe I can even uh, decorate the bed for our guests or whatever for Halloween because I don't really decorate much in there. I just like threw some pillows on the bed and, and my husband just, you know, we picked out these like these really soft blankets. But you know what? I'm like thinking to myself, you know, I could really do something with that bed in there, like make it extra special because... You know, a lot of my friends stay here, you know, they come from far and wide. And so, you know, a lot of them have been crashing here. So why not give them a little flavor of Jennifer's layer on the bed? <laughs> I know I am just so, <laughs> I'm so out there. It's, it's okay. But I am kind of disappointed because the storm it's still out there, but it's not rumbling like it was. And of course, you know, when I woke up, that's when the thunder happened. And now it's like not going to thunder for us. But it's still raining out there. And I did see some lightning earlier, but there's no thunder. Come on, thunder. Come on, Mother Nature. Hopefully, we'll hear some more during my some of my next videos. So, okay, guys, I'm rambling now, and it's okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I really appreciate all of my subscribers and everything from the bottom of my Halloween heart. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already, you're more than welcome to. We will welcome you with open arms into the spooky family. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for new videos. I guess this is the end of my video right now, and I did hear some rumbling, so that's awesome. So maybe it'll go to my next video. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so very much for everything. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show. All, and please don't forget to leave comments because I do love hearing from all of you. It's, it's very awesome when you do leave comments because I really appreciate those. And I love reading them and I love being able to answer back to you guys. So if you guys can leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you have already. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear from all of you. And I guess stay spooky, stay safe, stay spectacular. And also make I hope that you all get what you want from your Halloween wish list. I guess I will talk to you later. Sorry this is so short this time. 
But I'll talk to you guys later on Jennifer's Slayer. Mm, bye.